In our last video, we asked you all a simple question. If you consider two buckets filled with water, one of which is at a high temperature and the other one at the room temperature and both the buckets are allowed to cool down, which one of the two will be at high temperature after a sufficient amount of time? To understand this, let us first know what do cooling and heating actually mean. Consider a bucket of water at a room temperature. Looking closely, a water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Now, under room temperature, every water molecule has certain amount of potential as well as kinetic energy. As we all know, above absolute zero temperature, every water molecule constantly interacts with each other, exchanging their energies, some of which is also lost into the surrounding. Now, if we heat this bucket, energy is supplied to these molecules, increasing the overall energy of the system. This increases the rate of interaction between the molecules and also the surrounding which in turn increases the temperature of the system. After some time if we stop heating, the external supply of energy cuts off. But the rate of interaction between the molecules remains high. Hence in the initial stages of cooling, the transfer of energy between the molecules and into the surrounding is more. That means initially the rate of loss of energy of the system is more. Hence in the initial minutes, the decrease in the temperature of the water in the bucket is high. Therefore, the rate of cooling decreases exponentially as it approaches the temperature of the surrounding, that is, the room temperature. Hence, we can say that initially the temperature of water in bucket B is greater than the temperature of water in bucket A, but decreases exponentially, so after sufficient amount of time, dA will be equal to dB. This phenomena was first demonstrated by Newton. His law states that the rate of cooling of an object is proportional to the difference between its own temperature and the temperature of the surrounding. 